Vacay bound. Whoop whoop. Say bye, mommy. Love you. Love you, mommy. Bye, bud. Breakfast of champions. Pineapple surf. Yummo. Trey, Trey. Say bye, mama. Love you. I love you, buddy. I'll see you in four days. Yeah, look at what I'm doing. Shh, don't tell anybody. Tree was a bust on to the one of many. Also, this is Dollar Tree number two. Number one was a bust. So I've actually been to this Dollar Tree before. I hate to admit that in the first one. I'm just randomly putting them in, in the GPS and they keep taking me to ones I've already been to. That just shows you how much of an addict I am. It is a problem. Okay, not much, but better than the last Dollar Tree. So uh, boring. I got a loofah because I didn't bring my one from home. It is raining, as you can see. So I got an umbrella and their umbrellas, in my opinion, are kind of crappy, but I was able to get some fake nails and get fake nail wasted. So I got these right there super cute and then I got these blue ones and I got a pair for Vanessa too because she said she had these but she needed an extra set so on to number two number three all right so pretty good trip at this Dollar Tree so I did find the pop chips that everybody's been hauling never found them at my stores and I got Three more of the white elephants that y'all have been blowing up my messages about for friends and then probably one for you guys because they had three white elephants, the ceramic ones at the store and I haven't seen them at my store since I hauled mine so that was a good find. Dollar Tree number four. They for reals at this Dollar Tree. You're on camera too, Dollar Tree. All right, y'all, so I have to admit that I was kind of scared going into that Dollar Tree. It looked kind of sketchy from the outside, and when I walked in, it smelled like mothballs and old and nasty, and it was a gem inside, like the bomb. Found so many wish list items. I'm so glad that I went in and stopped because, oh my gosh, so many things I crossed off my list. So yeah, even the dumpiest of Dollar Trees can have jewels inside them. Lunch time and potty break. All right, y'all, totally forgot to take a picture of what I was eating because I was so freaking hungry. I had like a half a salad at Panera Bread. I love their salads. And the girls just text me and they are like way off course as far as time. Too much fun at those DTs, ladies. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the grocery in Gulf Shores and I'm gonna go ahead and check into the condo early. So I'll be there a little bit earlier than Kira and Vanessa and they're gonna be on their way, but it's gonna be late, so I'm gonna on the road. Guys, how many times do y'all stop to pee on a trip? I mean, this is ridiculous. All right, guys, I'm at Publix, as y'all can see there, maybe. But I gotta do some grocery shopping for the condo before I go and check in. And I'm here, I'm so excited, and I just wanna get these groceries and get to the condo, so let's get going. Guys, get me out of here before I spend all my trip money on groceries. It's a serious problem. All right, y'all, so Vanessa and Kiara should be here any minute, so I'm gonna do a quick run through, a tour of the condo. So this is the kitchen, and this is exactly why we picked out this condo, was for this kitchen specifically. I mean, look how beautiful it is with these white or cream cabinets, and the hardware and the granite countertops is just beautiful so it is and look at the floors how freaking cute and pretty is that this place is just so nice um and the name of it is mermaids and margaritas and it has a margarita maker 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 yes indeed all right so we have a bathroom in here and yes couponing i brought my toilet paper because we would i knew we wouldn't have enough all right y'all so this is actually leaving day when I'm filming the rest of the room tour now because if you watched the beginning part, I had to go let the ladies in because they got here, so I got cut off with that. So everything's not gonna be like made up and fresh like we're just getting here now because we're leaving. But this is the room that 
I slept in. So this is a two bedroom condo and this one has like a built in bathroom and it's really nice. The bed was super comfortable. The pillows are super comfortable. Um, as you can see, it had plenty of storage and stuff, which was super nice and like extra fluffy blankets, which were the bomb. And then this is the bathroom. So it's just got a little bathroom. Hey, <laughs> and here's the shower, the toilet, all the good stuff. So like this Claire is her name is the owner of the condo. And she was like super attentive to like really like higher end details with this condo and high quality than I've stayed at Gulf Shores before for sure. So I would definitely stay here again. This is like a super nice place. All right, so out of this room, I think y'all already saw the kitchen, but here's the kitchen again, the table and lemonade mom. And, <laughs> and uh, the kitchen was really pretty. It worked out really good for us. I'm glad we chose this location because I don't think any other location would have stood up to the cabin, you know, the cabinets and the countertops and the appliances. I just, not from the search that I was doing. Like once we found that one, the girls were like, yes, this is it. So here's like the living room area that folded out to a bed, but we didn't unfold it. And then here's like the TV area. And then here is the balcony. So it does have a little balcony and I didn't even show y'all the view yet, but here is the view. So we don't have a full on beach view like some of these other condos do over here, but I mean, you can definitely sit here and drink coffee and hear the waves and see the view and the palm trees, which was super pretty and nice. So yeah, this place is huge. It's a private, condominium location way far away from the main strip from like the hangout and stuff i mean it's probably almost 25 minutes to get to the hangout from where we are we're on the very outskirts of the beach but i'm telling y'all the water if y'all you have already seen that footage was so much prettier and clear and more blue and green here than it is like in the touristy section if that makes sense and the beaches were so much more prettier so like i said i am highly satisfied i'm going to leave for a really great review on vrbo and definitely stay here again i think the kids would love this place i've never taken the kids um to the beach before but I gotta do like locally to test out for Trey because I don't know how he would like it with his sensory with the sand. But if he's cool with it, I'm definitely gonna do a beach trip because Waylon I think would love it. I have a full on Margaritaville Margarita machine that we did not even use. Shut up, Nicole, Vanessa, Kiara, Amber, and Madison. Like what? We did not use the Margarita machine while we were here. I don't even want to speak of that anymore. Let's move on. So <laughs> this is the bathroom area in the middle. Kiara's in there getting ready to go. We turn this on. This is the second bedroom. This is one actually in the front of the condominium and it's super nice too. I mean it's the same size as the other one. It just doesn't have the built-in bathroom. It's like connected in the hallway for everybody to use but this one's super nice too. I love how like rustic beach farmhouse everything is. Yes I did throw in a farmhouse word on, even on my vlog trip. Yep you heard that right. All right so I think that's most of the tour for the condo because I want to make sure that y'all came back and saw everything and we didn't skimp out on that so <laughs> um, this is you're gonna see a lot of pictures from the cookbook of us cooking in this kitchen I mean look how pretty the white is so I just wanted to make sure y'all saw a full-on tour of the condo that we stayed in all right so I met up with my ladies say hi ladies <laughs> And we were gonna go to the hangout, but it's a two hour wait to eat. So we're gonna try to hit up the Pink Pony Pub and then we're gonna go hang out at the hangout, maybe. Oh. But. Oh. Yeah. So there's the beach. So it's like seven something, it's kind of late. But. Just getting started. All right, so here are my drink choices. And I'm boring and I think I'm getting just a pina colada. However, I know that their nachos are the bomb. And I think I'm gonna get the chicken nachos. All right, beef nachos. Pink Pony Pub's famous beef nachos. And then we got fried pickles. Potato skins, calamari, and coconut shrimp. We're about to get our grub on.
we're at the hangout and we just got shark attacks. We're getting attacked by sharks here because you know we ain't getting in that water where Jaws is. Not happening. Good morning. All right, so this is Tuesday, day two, and I'm getting dressed because we're getting ready to start cooking for our recipes for our cookbook that we're doing that we've been telling y'all about. Kiara is still sleeping and I don't think anybody wants to wake her up because that woman never gets sleep. So she is in there sleeping like a baby and I'm not waking her up until she wakes up on her own. Vanessa is getting dressed. So I'm getting dressed as you can see, I look like a hot mess. All right y'all, so out of the condo, full, fully done as far as makeup and stuff. Um, we forgot stuff to cook as usual. So like two things I really need for my Recipes I did not bring and same thing for Kiara. So I'm getting in the elevator now This elevator is so freaking hot y'all So <laughs> I'm off to Rouse's which is a local grocery store for me um, It's right down. It's like 15 minutes down the road So I have to go and get that so we can make our recipes because Amber and Madison are on their way and want to get some of these things done and film for the cookbook so I gotta get to going so the ladies are staying behind because they're getting some things done. And I am off to the grocery. I mean, I feel like I've lived at the grocery store on this freaking trip, what the hell? But <laughs> yeah, so grocery bound, let's go. Oh, Nicole, what'd you do on your trip? I grocery shopped. Oh, All right, cool. so we're opening up gifts from the girls. Oh, these are cute. So, oh, oh, look at my crab bag, beautiful. how cute. Good at vlogging myself like this. All right, Hawaiian pink hibiscus and Freeman peel off gel mask. Yes, because I brought a mask. So now I need to So look at that. That's really sweet. Thank you so much. Look how cute. You can put your phone in it when you go to the beach and your phone will get sand in it. Love it. Love it. I love that. Oh, yeah, I was thinking when I saw my drink will get dirty, but you have to take a picture. Uh, with, our, with our tank tops. With <laughs> <laughs> More gifts. More gifts. Okay, those yeah. chips are local to me, and they're the bomb. You've had them before. Yes. Oh my goodness. So they're not just pickled, but they have like a Cajun spice to them. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I couldn't believe I found those. I said never had. They had like this the weird so looking. Good. Yeah. They've been yes, out, yes, so I, I was surprised to see them yesterday at the other one. I know, I'm getting in, no, you, that was like the first thing that you had, and then I was going are through. Are these pachonas? Yeah. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, for these are super mm. soft. Oh, those are so super <laughs> cute. Oh my, she's like, Amber, stop I'm talking. Look, you're my good job. <laughs> this is so soft. <laughs> I'm gonna oh, sleep with this. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> yes. Yes! Look, <laughs> when your chick, listen, this is when your chick knows how to coupon and hook up her girls right there, okay? <laughs> right there. Well, Boom. you had said that they don't sell it. Not in the can. Okay, because they sell it in the can, the two liter and the 20 ounce by me. Okay, yeah. I so when you said that, I was like, ounce. oh, she's okay. getting this. Oh, yeah, I can only get the 20 ounce. And I, I prefer soda in a can. Okay. Cause especially since my refrigerator, like, is like nitrous oxide makes just everything so cold <laughs> and it's better in a can. So this okay, is good. really exciting. All right, so I did okay. good. I'm gonna cry over this frame. Like this frame is like gorgeous. Oh, so pretty. I love this. Good. good. I'm gonna cry. Like this I love this frame. Yes. <laughs> this is my bathroom. My bathroom. So but, pretty. But Super wanna try this. I know what says. <laughs> Bust them out, girl. Bust them out. <laughs> So that's what needs to be in the picture of us. Just saying. Okay? No, go ahead. Bust into them. Hey, it's lunchtime. Go ahead. All right, so I just opened Madison's gift. Madison knows me too well. Like, I am so super excited. Y'all know I'm a nerd with this. Yeah, like, it's a problem. And fake nail wasted. Don't judge me. When you watch my stockpile video, these are going on stockpile. No shame in my game. <laughs> And look how freaking cute. And she got me the planner stickers. I'm set. I'm set. Love it. 
Like, it's Christmas around here. It is Christmas around here. Look, Christmas in June. Woo woo. Did you guys see what I put on Instagram? I wrote you guys, it's like Christmas in here. Oh, did you? Yeah, like an hour ago. It's like Christmas for four hours. We've been opening presents for like four hours. Like we're supposed, people that are looking forward to the cookbook, oh yeah, it might take a while. Because um, we haven't cooked, we've just been opening presents. So we're just going to put pictures, we're going to put pictures of our presents in the cookbook and put like random recipes. All right? So be looking forward to that. Stay tuned. Yeah. Real life. Real life on the channel. I say that all the time. Real life on the channel. We just wanted to see if you guys would be interested. Now we'll really start thinking about a cookbook. Yeah. We'll, we'll make another trip for the cookbook. This was like a trip just for presents. Yeah. <laughs> this was a present trip. I'm going to go home and be like, honey, just letting you know. You're going to be on dad duty again because we actually didn't work on this work trip. Yeah. They'd be like, oh, not happy. All right. So sneak peek to some recipes for the cookbook. So we have Kiara's famous Monte Crisco's. Y'all already know about the cheeseburger sliders from me and chicken salad from Vanessa. And of course, on Dixie plates. It's not the Dollar Tree, y'all. It's Dollar Tea. Get it right. All right, so the girls already made it in because I was having technical difficulties with my other camera. <laughs> so I'm busting this out. They're hoping to find the lemon plates from Vanessa. We've been on the search. I was looking for them for like every yeah, my, my camera's like jacked. Um, <laughs> Dollar Tree that I went to yesterday. All right, so we have an hour before they close. So they got Pop-Tarts at this one, not at mine. I wish they had strawberry. No lemon plates. We tried. Look, we were just saying the Texas toast is super expensive at Walmart. There's no cobblestone bread. <laughs> Dollar Tree problems. <laughs> hey, made this, you made this, right? It's pretty good. Lonnie liked it. Is there anything good over on the other side? I didn't check yet. I was having technical oh. issues. Okay. So, after going, we actually just went to another Dollar Tree, but we got kicked out because they were about to close, so we had 10 minutes to shop. So we're at this one because it's opened until 10. However, it's a womp womp. I'm only getting one of the trash cans I hauled from last year because one of my kids at school actually took the lid off of my other one. So I need to replace it. But you hear my peeps over there? Yeah. So this is a no-go. However, I think I'm spoiled, y'all, because y'all know if you follow me on Instagram, I stopped at four Dollar Trees on the way here. This is my sixth Dollar Tree I've been to on this trip. And I am super fortunate and spoiled because my Dollar Trees are the bomb um, compared to some that I've visited. However, one that I went to on vacation was awesome. That fourth one in Biloxi was amazing. So yeah, I um, fortunate, blessed Dollar Tree gods love me where I live. Thank you, Dollar Tree. <laughs> All right, y'all. So day three of our trip, we've been working on that cookbook like crazy and we are just now getting to the beach. It's like 1.30 on Wednesday. We leave tomorrow on Thursday. This is the first time we have walked down to the beach. It's insane. So, it's so beautiful. It's a private condo with a private beach. So we're going to get a spot. Hopefully we don't spot Jaws and have a good time. Oh my God, it's gonna be hot. It's gonna be hot. Oh, it is hot. Crap. Do we wanna walk down here a little bit? Set up? Wherever we can get a good spot. Yeah, there's lots of room down here. All right, y'all, so. All right, y'all, so. The girls are out there with Jaws. This girl's on the beach. I am gonna bring y'all into the water like this much in a little bit. Cause I'm gonna test out this camera. But there are the ladies right there being brave. But uh, this girl's being safe. All right, so I'm attempting to go in the water just for you guys. Do y'all hear that? All right, let's go.
<laughs> Trying to be all cute looking. That happens in real life in the vlog. <laughs> so this is, like I said, our first time at the actual beach. Trying to get some relaxation in, guys. Wait until you see <laughs> the cookbook. Y'all are gonna die. It's gonna be the bomb. All right. So you know this girl is not brave in Jaws this long. This is about all y'all gonna get. Love you guys. Bye. Amber's getting her shell Amber. hunt on. Hold on, there's one right here. Oh, that, that's not a shell. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're totally bringing trash down. And we're skipping and we're so happy about it. And we match. This is for you girls back in the condo. We love ya. <laughs> that just happened. All right, so we're in the gift shop. Amber is on the hunt. She's like, she's like Terminator on a mission up in here. <laughs> My girl is on a mission. I haven't even looked yet. <laughs> it's a problem. Shot glass. Can I say? It's sharks. Jaws. Jaws be up in there. <laughs> Y'all see this guy's? Jaws. We found him. <laughs> Look at these massive cups. Like, you can do a whole shop with me in Alvin's Island. <laughs> the problem. All right, y'all, so it's official. I did get eaten by Jaws. Yep. As you can see. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Jaws be here. For real. Oh! <laughs> nom, 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 nom. <laughs> we're on a hunt for a sweater. We're in, we're in Jaws' mouth right now. All right, y'all, so, real quick. We got eaten by Jaws, now we're back in the bed. So we're going to sleep. This is Wednesday night. We go home tomorrow. We go home tomorrow. So we're tired. It's like two in the morning because, you know, we party down like that. <laughs> Not really. If y'all only knew what happened on our excursion after we got eaten by Jaws. Y'all oh. want to hear about it real quick? She Beh about killed me. Behind the scenes. So we got lost. And went to go turn around because somebody was like on our behind and there was like a big sand, not even joking, it was like a sand dune and went to go turn in it to turn around because there was barricades on the other side and got stuck in the sand. Thank God for the person from the north who can push <laughs> someone out of the sand because it's just like push someone out of snow. Um, I almost peed my pants. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so, like, I thought um, tow truck was coming and I was going to have to spend $1,000 of my Dollar Tree money on that. And that would just not have, no, no, not happening. So we got out of that. And then we went to go turn back into our condominium place. And I missed the entrance. They're probably thinking Nicole is like the worst driver ever. <laughs> I, missed, <laughs> I missed the entrance because there was a freaking fox that crossed the road. So, which means she almost put us in the ocean to turn around. <laughs> Negative. <laughs> but, <laughs> so, yeah, that was the fun times of Nicole and Amber on Wednesday night trying to go <laughs> to the gift shop to get stuff for our kids. <laughs> and it wound up being almost a death experience. So, I didn't even have to worry about Jaws, y'all. It was a fox and sand dunes that almost <laughs> killed us. Just saying. So, we're going to end it there for tonight, and we'll see you in the morning. Good night. Bye. Bye. All right, condo. Lots of laughs, crying, memories made. 
see you next time. All right, so on the road, this is a long stretch before I get to the main road. Put in my address for the GPS and it didn't take me long to get here, but it's saying there's like a two hour delay. I hope it's not taking me on the interstate that has like the super heavy traffic. So I'm gonna try to make it work to where I'm on the Beachway Express or whatever that was, cause that was super quick and ridiculous. So I'm just not knowing if there's like a wreck or something. I don't know what's going on, but just made my final squeeze from Lemonade Mom and Fifty Shades of Mom and I just did not want to go like ugh. amazing women I'm so glad I was finally able to meet everyone and be able to spend time with them pour our hearts out I mean like best friends like I feel like honestly that I've known them forever and like high school friends like growing up and you can just tell anything to and so relatable so many things in common so many things different but that's what's amazing about people in general so just an awesome experience um, we spent most of the time working on the cookbook so it was a lot of work we didn't honestly we didn't spend a lot of time relaxing but we spent a lot of time being able to talk and chat and that was enough in itself but next time we get together it will be a no work trip Kiara and Vanessa, if you're watching, no work next time. So next time it will be true pampering relaxation wherever we go and not have to worry about anything. All right, put that on the list, ladies. So I got a lot of driving to do. I'm probably going to take y'all through some steps. Um, I, according to the GPS, even with a two-hour delay, I should have time to pick up Trey, which Lonnie was like, oh, you should be back in time to pick up Trey, right? And I'm like, um, no, because I might have, you know, because it, it did, it took me longer than expected. And the girls know in the background, like, oh, she'd be going to Dollar Tree. So yeah, she lying to Lonnie for sure. But <laughs> I don't know if I'm stopping any Dollar Trees. I stopped at six. And like I told y'all earlier in the vlog, I'm super blessed and spoiled by mine. And it's telling me right now if I don't make any stops, which I'm going to be making stops because I pee every five seconds and I'm kind of hungry, that I should be there at 219 and he has to be picked up at 3. So it's probably not going to happen, but we'll see. We'll see. But we played a card game for Vanessa that she has to do for her channel last night. And it was like all about mom. So it was like mom questions. And one of the questions was like, do you feel guilty or miss your kids when leaving them? And we all said no. And then as soon as I woke up this morning and knew that I was coming home, like, tears are, like, welling up in my eyes because I do miss Waylon and Trey. Like, I'm like, okay, I'm going back to my babies, you know, and that type of thing. Like, I had my fun mom time and, you know, time for myself, and now it's time to get home to my kids because that's my heart, that's my life. So I am excited to get back to them and squeeze them and hold them. And that'll probably last for like 10 minutes and then I'll be like, oh my gosh, I need another vacation, you know? <laughs> so that is mom life all the way. So I've been talking for like three minutes now. I'm going to keep driving, focus on the road because after last night's excursion, oh Lord, y'all already saw that. That was scary. Like my leg, my legs and my limbs were trembling so bad. I was so scared when we got stuck in that sand. Cause down in the South, uh, where I live, first off, there's no like sand like this and we don't get snow. So there's no getting stuck in anything where I live. So I was like, OMG, which I knew you were supposed to like turn the wheel and stuff and go in reverse. And that's what got us out. Um, and you know, Amber's superhuman strength, but man, I was like scared. I was like, if I have to get a tow truck in Gulf Shores, the hubby is going to kill me. So thank you. Thank you for getting us out of there and be able to get home. That was our only scary excursion. So everything else, we were super safe. We're in the condo most of the time. So like, and y'all saw like I got in the water, but we didn't go far. So we were pretty good the whole time. All right guys, so driving, probably lunch, maybe a Dollar Tree picking up Trey. So you have not lived until you had an Arby's beef and cheddar. I've said that many times. Yes. I also got a salted K 
caramel chocolate chip cookie. Shut up, Barbies. I'm eating this on the way home. No place like home, y'all. Louisiana. Back home. All right, y'all. So, got about 20 something minutes before I have to pick up Trey. I'm here early enough to get Trey. Didn't get in all that traffic like I thought. So I'm close to the Dollar Tree, as you can see, by where I work. So can't stay away. And being that I've went through, what, three states and these are my favorite DTs, gotta see if there's any treasures. Who I got. Yay, come on, buddy. We going home? Did you miss mommy? Yeah. All right, y'all, so you see I have Trey Trey. Now I'm so excited to go home and see Waylon. But I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Um, I'm probably gonna insert some footage maybe of me seeing Waylon for the first time and then it'll really be the end. But I am not far from home now and I'm excited to get home, get in my own bed, unpack. You know how it is when you wanna just be at home. Nothing beats home sweet home. So excited to be back. <laughs> um, and like I said, the trip was amazing um, to be able to be with those ladies. I am so blessed and thankful to have them in my life. So it was just an honor. It was an honor to be able to spend three or four days with them and just, you know, talk about everything and spill our guts and hang out. It was great. So thank you ladies for spending four days with me. I love you so much and appreciate you. And now I'm gonna go home back to reality because I just got off the phone with Lonnie and he apparent I'm hoping he just got food poisoning or something because they ate at a place that he usually doesn't eat at for lunch and he's like super sick. So, but there's some, apparently some kind of like stomach bug going around where we live, supposedly. <laughs> I'm hoping he doesn't have that because guys, y'all remember the last stomach bug I had the last week of school like to kill me. I cannot deal with that again. <sighs> The struggle and the, the reality of life is so real, right? So let's hope that, I mean, I hate to say that, but let's hope that it was food poisoning and nothing else so that can not be going rampant in my house when I get back from vacation is just what I need. So thank you so much for coming along to my vlog of our beach trip. <laughs> not much beach action, right? But the cookbook's going to be thebomb.com. Y'all are going to love it. So many awesome plans for it and I cannot wait to see the final product and cannot wait for it for you guys to be able to see. So again, just stay tuned, hang tight for that because it's going to be a little while. It's going to be around fall before you see anything about the cookbook. We'll definitely update you through Instagram, YouTube videos, the YouTube community tabs. So just make sure that you're following myself, Kiara from Fifty Shades of Mom and Lemonade, Lemonade Mom Vanessa <laughs> so you know all the details and all the updates on the cookbook will all be like going crazy with that for you guys so y'all are all up to date on it i love you guys so much give this video a thumbs up if you love a good vlog <laughs> i know i don't do them that often but i wanted to make sure i vlogged this because so many of y'all were like please vlog please vlog the trip and i y'all know for the great wolf lodge trip i did not vlog because i wanted to just enjoy with the kids it's different with the kids like when i'm with the kids i don't have time to vlog i feel but when i'm it's just myself i felt like i had time to do that and i wanted to do that because i thought it'd be fun so i hope you enjoyed and i will see you guys in the next video back to reality love you guys so much bye somebody was super excited to see me mm -mm -mm. there he is